Recently a new playable character was announced for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. My name is Stally111 and today I'll be talking about Ciri, the second playable character in The Witcher 3. Ciri, or Cirilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, born in 1251, most likely during the Bellatian holiday, Princess of Sintra, daughter of Pavetta and Dunny, and granddaughter of Queen Kelenth. Ciri will be playable in small portions of the game, similar to Catwoman in the likes of Arkham City. CD Projekt Red's Robert Malinowski describes her in a recent press release. Maybe this will help you guys a little bit more, but afterwards I will attempt to go into further detail. Ciri is playable only during certain moments in the game. We introduce her to give the gamers another perspective in the story to make it even more engaging. You won't play as her for long periods of time, but since she is crucial to the plot, we thought that additional insight will allow gamers to better bond with this cool character. We introduced Siri as a supportive narrative tool, and not because of gameplay mechanics. The Witcher was always about Geralt, and that has not changed. But that handful of moments when you play as Siri provide us with glimpses of how the story feels from the other side. Just a warning, some of her backstory here will be spoilers to her origin into the story, but it isn't too heavy in the Witcher 3 plot, as they haven't exactly revealed it. After the Witcher, Geralt, lifted the curse from our father, he demanded from Dunny what he had done, but he didn't know he did it, which it turned out to be Ciri. Six years to one day after her birth, Geralt went back to Sintra for her, but did not take her with him to Caer Moren at that time. In fact, he didn't even lay eyes on her, and only spoke with Kelenth, and the Queen divulged no information to him, not even the child's gender. While she was still an infant, Ciri's parents were both lost in a storm at sea and presumed dead. She spent her youth in Sintra and the Skeelage Islands in the care of her grandmother. She first met Geralt when she was lost in the forest of Brokilon. She was nearby taken by the Dryads and made one of them, but the Queen of the Dryads, excuse my pronunciation here, Etienne, unexpectedly let the girl choose her own future. Ciri chose Geralt and tried to stay with him after they left Brokilin, but the Witcher would not take her with him. Instead, he left her with the Druid Mousak, who was working for Kalanth. Then came the slaughter of Sintra. During the Nilfgaardian invasion of Sintra, Ciri was kidnapped by a Nilfgaardian knight called Cahir Mor, though his identity was not known at the time. She managed to escape and wandered aimlessly for some time through Sodden until she was ultimately adopted by a merchant's family. Coincidentally, Geralt had been helped by that same merchant and transported to his home, so once again, Ciri and Geralt were reunited. This time the Witcher took her with him to Kier Moren, where, under the supervision of Triss Merigold, she underwent partial Witcher training. Geralt and Triss later took her to the temple of Melatelli in Elendor, where she received instruction, at first from Neneke, and then from Yennefer, who began Ciri's magical training in earnest. As news of war began to spread, Ciri and Yennefer left Elendor for Gorsvillen, and ultimately Thaned Island and Artazu, where the sorceress intended to enroll the girl as well as attend a conference of mages. Things did not work out as planned, not by a long shot. There was a coup during the conference they attended, and several individuals, including Vilge Fortes, and Cahir tried to capture Ciri once again, and once again failed, with the girl escaping through an unstable magical portal in Tor Lara. Because of the portal's nature, Ciri was simply ejected in midair over the Korath desert. Unaware of where she was, and without obvious recourse, the girl decided to make her way out of the wasteland by heading west. Unfortunately, she wandered around in circles for some time before deciding to use the stars as a guide. She nearly died of exhaustion, dehydration and starvation. Luckily to her, she met a unicorn, whom she nicknamed Horsey, that helped her out of the frying pan. Ciri, who was still undergoing emotional tribulation, then joined the Rats, a group of Nair duels she met when they were rescuing one of their members under the name of Falca. Bounty hunter Leo Bonart was hired by Stefan Skellen to kill Ciri and by Baron Cassidy to capture her alive. Bonhart killed the Rats, and cut off their heads after their deaths. He disobeyed his contract though, and kept Kiri to himself, imprisoning her for some time, abusing her, 
and forcing her to fight in an arena for entertainment. Siri managed to escape with the help of Neriton Keka when Boneheart had taken her to the nearby village. He was going to sell her, but when he finds out she had escaped, Boneheart kills Neriton. Later she was found near death by Issa Gota of Corvo, who hid and healed her at his hermitage in the Pierplot Swamp. Continuing to be hunted, Siri ran off to Torziel, which is a tower that has a portal within it. She used it to travel to Tyr Nale. She mounted Kelpie and rode away after feeling like she was being used for her powers. She met Horsey, who offered his help, then they came across a huge pile of bones. To her horror, Siri realised that the skulls had human teeth, making them a pile of human bones. It was then explained to her that it had been the human world until the elves led by Fox and Sparrowhawk arrived and killed them all. This also would be the fate of the other worlds, including Ciri's own, should Avaloch and Eridan succeed in once again harnessing the power of time and space. Nevertheless, they realised that they were being chased. Horsey urged Ciri to jump to another world, the only way to escape. She, however, did not know how. The unicorn became her guide and they jumped. This led to a manifestation of Ciri's strongest power, giving her the title the Lady of the Worlds. That power allowed her to transverse space and time at will. Not being able to control it however, Siri had to journey through many different worlds to finally find her own. Now she has returned to the world where she originated from and the one that Geralt resigns in, now looking for one another after finding out about her return. Sadly she may not have been the only beings that came into that world when she did. I won't say any more as I think I've said enough about her and I've been on the border of spoiling many things. Before I go, as I do with many characters I cover, let's look at her name, Ciri. According to Blood of Elves, her name is derived from the Elder Speech word Ziriel, meaning swallow. Thank you very much for watching guys, my name is Stally111, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. See you guys next time.